Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to theme your Ubuntu desktop or any GNOME desktop with uh, a kind of space theme. So uh, for the first step, let us install some of the things that we need. Um, so sudo apt install, go for GNOME tweaks, we need that for applying the themes or you can also use G settings from the terminal. Let us uh, approach uh, something related to the GUI. And then um, we need Rofi along with that. We also need Konki. That's all for now. Rest of the things, if we need anything, we will install later. That's it, it is done. Now for the next step, head over to Google Chrome. And first uh, we need to enable GNOME shell extensions. Search for that or whichever browser you are using. For my case, it is Chrome install the extension add to chrome add extension done now we just need to refresh this page and if you get this error it's okay just head over and install another package that is chrome gnome shell that's all done now you just need to refresh this page and everything will work properly first we need to install user themes so that we can change the uh, shell theme for the next step just head over to uh, just perfection and enable this done now first we need to go uh, with the shell theme so search for shell theme gnome from gnome look dot org and click the first one that we get this is the whatever is the name go and download it you will get a lot of options inside that we are going to go with the indigo version of that so first open files open this in for show in folder that's it now let's put them side by side and for the next step for the next step just press ctrl h and create a new folder if you don't have the dot themes directory create another directory of dot icons that's it done now head over to dot themes and open this open this go and install the indigo version of the theme that's all done now for the next step open tweaks let us just pin tweaks here so that we can easily open it go to appearance select the indigo theme now it i know it looks a little bit weird with this dock but we don't want the dock for this theme and we are going to get uh, rid of the dock so get back to gnome shell extensions gnome shell extensions and installed extensions just open the settings for just perfection and this will allow us to get rid of the dock go to customize change the palette size to the smallest whatever you get change the icon size to around like 14 pixels looks bet better and much cleaner and you can change the panel position to the bottom but uh, it just disappears for my case because i you need to use everything related to buy shell theme then you can put it to the bottom part uh, we need to restart this customize bottom so yeah and still many of the elements go out of uh, vision anyway uh, just y uh, choose whatever is perfect around 13 should be fine and for the panel size choose the smallest one looks much clean that's it done and this is how things are uh, things look inside the shell thing looks pretty neat and for the next step we need to ensure that we have disabled the, the dock but for the time being i'm going to keep the dock because i need it okay okay for uh, the next step we need to set the rofi theme search for rofi themes and click on the first one you will get a huge collection of Rofi themes. Themes, you can do one thing, you can just copy this URL, open the terminal and sudo apt install git. Just install, whoops, git and go for git clone the repo. That is it, done. Now enter into Rofi and here you will be getting the setup.sh. You just need to run setup.sh, okay. Let me see the installation instructions that are there. Okay, I think uh, it should be running. Yeah, it executes because it's already set as executable. So we don't need to do this. Anyway, after it is done, it's time to check things out. So we just need to launch 
this now there are several types you need to change the type from here I'm going to use number six which looks which has this cool space look and another option is there which you can use that is the number seven which also has another cool space look but for my case I'm going to use the number six and you need to pair this uh, thing with um, something for example let's head over to settings yeah keyboard view and customize shortcuts let's uh, add a custom shortcut now you just need to couple this uh, command with uh, alt plus s that is the shortcut you can select any other shortcut whichever you want put it inside custom shortcuts now you can access this by opening settings heading over to keyboard and clicking on view and customize shortcuts and click on custom shortcuts click the plus button and add your shortcut so whenever i place the all press the alt plus s button it opens this theme now that entire pack comes with several other themes which you can definitely try out on your own just you need to select a different style from here for example if i select style 2 and close this alt plus s will open this different styled launcher so there are a number of styles i'm going to put them here so you can check them out let me just copy this open the terminal paste this is one of them then we have another style 4 this is another you can go for style 5 sorry so for our case i'm going to select style 1 okay close all the windows now uh, the next step that i would like to do is install the theme now the theme that i'm going to use is let's search for gtk themes search for this open gnome look.org and and i'm going to use this q os themes click on that go to download and you get several options i'm going to select violet since violet will go with the current shell theme that's it downloaded open this head over to dot themes and we have the violet dark theme now some more changes that we need to do we just need to copy the gtk4 folder contents Control c head over to home slash dot config slash gtk4 oops gtk4 and paste all the contents there that should change the gtk4 theming also now uh, you can head over to you can just open chrome go to gnome shell extensions click on install extensions and open any of the settings so let's open the just perfection settings and as you can see it is using the previous version so just for changing that you need to head over to tweaks open tweaks go to appearance change the current theme to skew skew os violet dark so we need a kind of violet uh, icon pack anyway we will search it up sometime for the time being just open gnome shell extensions head over to gnome shell extensions and go to installed extensions open the settings for just perfection now you need to customize this part and change you can change the animation to slow or slower now if you do that things look a little bit smooth see so you can go for slow it will look better and for the visibility you can just turn off dash see looks much more cleaner now after this is done let us uh, yeah Rofi works properly now uh, we we need to go for some con key themes now the con key theme that I'm going to use I had to edit a little bit because uh, there were some problems with the visibility so let me just connect my pen drive here we have the lizard the lizard con key theme now for installing that you just need to copy this folder to home slash dot config slash con key create a new folder named con key open that and paste this here just click on open in terminal dot slash start dot sh now when you start this you will see that the same black problem happens like i have shown you in the previous videos so for getting rid of those you just need to open the config and then change the default color to white white and head over to this one change this to true and this should work okay doesn't work properly this can be changed to five zeros 
that should make it transparent actually no one more zero is required to make it transparent so before you start the con key it is important that you install the fonts that they have provided so install done now we need to restart the con key and as you can see it looks a little bit better than the previous one now some of the things won't work unless you install some dependencies like uh, they had previously so let us go and install them that is sudo apt install we have jq lua 5.4 and curl these are the things that we need let's restart the con key i hope it will work this time but i guess it is taking some time in order to fetch everything okay now it is working so a little bit of change we need to do just head over to scripts and click on the weather.sh there we have the city id which they are telling you just need to open this website click on open link and search for the location where you stay for my case it is kolkata click on kolkata click this and just copy this id that is there copy it and to replace the current id it is current it is using just save it done now restart the con key and i should be in kolkata let me restart again and as you can see i am currently in kolkata now i had to change these icons that they have provided uh, inside the con key that is the icon pack these were all in black so i had to change the color to white so that it matches the background in a better manner because the background will be kind of black let's head over to home and this is the background i'm going to use this is it so the resolution isn't uh, that high here but i'll try to upscale and put the image in the description so that you can download from there so it looks pretty clean nice one okay now let's go back to install extensions and let's go to extensions and add other extensions to this one of them would be an application menu you can go for the arc menu which will look really nice just go for the arc menu let's see how things turn out okay looks ugly anyway let's disable it okay this is the application menu i'm searching for install done and as you can see it provides a very nice fluid interface for choosing your application looks very nice with the current theme that's it done and for the final step we just need to open settings head over to appearance and change just tick this off and that should be good okay for the last part we now need a nice icon pack so let's open chrome search for gtk icons okay search for something violet so there's a lot of minimal violet themes and icon packs that are available let's we just need icon packs so full icon themes we can go for the sevi icon pack let's see how it looks looks like uh, it's taken from xiaomi so let's avoid that let's go for the papyrus icon pack and for the color we will go for the indigo edition download that's it done now open the the uh, current icon pack which i'm using is kind of broken due to some reason and it doesn't work anyway we're going to use something else just drag and drop and it should complete the process after some time that's it okay that's it now head over to tweaks appearance and select the icon pack let's select papyrus dark i hope it works out properly and as you can see the icon pack will probably change even if you search for something for example tweaks as you can see the icon pack has been applied so that's all for this video and for the final part you can also edit the terminal but it looks pretty fine you can head over to preferences and from there you will get profiles from profiles you can change the background color to anything or the four foreground colors also but for uh, me i think that it looks pretty nice so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one